so I will deliver t so I will deliver two speeches, one in English, one in Serbian. The speeches are the same, but I will appreciate if somebody is actually record both of them because it is from the same importance this speech and this act to be heard both from Albanians and Serbians and international communities. Fifteen days ago, as you know, the same basic evil that sowed hatred and hate and death in the Balkans three days, decades ago beat and arrested a man of my nation who was standing in this very place before me. The formal and official accusation of the judicial authorities of Serbia reads that Serbs laid flowers on the grave of the murdered Albanian girl Blerina Yashari, and that's why we have to arrest him. 25 years after the Second World War, it was the year 1970. The Germans, who lost part of their historical territory due to injustice against the Poles, come to Warsaw and pay their respect to the victims of their injustice. Today, millions of Poles and Germans, in close cooperation of every possible kind, together form the backbone of free Europe, and the children of their mixed marriage enjoy the benefits of that created peace, despite a history that was cruel. 25 years after the Kosovo War, as the last Balkan War, my country arrests and beats people who, by laying flowers on the graves of Albanian children, want reconciliation between nations. It is a sign that we must not ignore. It is a clear warning that evil has not been defeated, that it is waiting for its time to reawaken. That evil is not trying to kill the hope that our common quality future is possible. But those attempts failed, and it will always fail, because, as you can see, I am standing here before you today. I came here not only to express my sorrow for the murdered citizens after 26 years. I came here not only to honor the victims. I have come here to make a clear message. We, who are building a better future for our people, are not afraid. We weren't afraid yesterday. We are not afraid today. And we won't be afraid tomorrow either nor will ever prevent us from walking the path of reconciliation, peace, solidarity, and justice. In my, if my country arrest, arrested and beat Nikola Sandulovic because he laid flowers in this place according to his conscience and according to his opinion, now my country gets the opportunity to arrest me Two, and to announce to the world that it has a new rule, according to which lying flowers of reconciliation to the graves of other nations is punishable by imprisonment. If that is not the case, they uh, then need to explain to that same world why my roses are different from Nicholas or anyone else's roses, why I am the exception who hasn't been arrested. Arrested or not, I will still be, still be a free man, as many are, because freedom does not come from judgment, nor does prison come from the bars. Freedom comes from the heart of the man. We who have no fear because good people have nothing to fear of, we have already explained ourselves. Of all the messages that 
leave this place. This one is most important. Freedom will always win. Blerina, hate dies, but you will live forever. May thousands of tears create thousands of years of peace and millions of hopes and dreams which begin with one word, forgive. I will read the same speech in Serbian language because I think it is very important to be heard from my own nation. <laughs>